like from your experience has it ever been a scenario where someone you know there is there are two works which have this issue of copyright infringement and the uh the things that are copied are literally word for word like has there ever been a case that you have come across where it's not just certain tropes or certain specific details that are copied yeah. but there are entire paragraphs or entire exactly. chapters that are verbatim copied which you know i'm assuming would make your case super easy as well it's happened it's happened in fact uh, in fact this was this was one of one of my early cases where uh, i was i was very I was very passionately arguing on behalf of this writer to to get him an injunction against a fairly large uh, producer who had made up i mean this was so it's kind of a a blockbuster kind of film i mean for obvious reasons i can't name it but uh, it, it was a, it was a, it was a big film a well known film with well known director and producer and i had made a chart saying look at all the elements in my screenplay look at all the elements in your film they are absolutely identical and in fact they are so unique that it is impossible that another mind independently came up with these same 20 30 ch- choices at this stage that that not only the milieu and the setting and the character but also the flow and the twist and the climax and everything and the side characters i mean this would be a remarkable coincidence if yeah. it happened and and obviously that's not something one could believe and we had uh, some proof of communication with the producer yeah. that this writer had communicated with the producer so so we had a pretty strong case and um, when it looked like the judge was going to give an injunction the producer's lawyer said lordship will just keep the matter back for about half an hour we will try and work it out we'll offer him a settlement we'll try and work it out so that uh, you know no adverse orders are passed so then yeah. we stepped out uh, agreed on a number went back into court and withdrew the case mm. the producer's brother who was in court came up to me and he said sir ab bura mat maniye ek baat bataunga aapko i said uh, sure he's like uh, see we we got off cheap in this settlement but you tell your also to be careful so i said why what do you mean got off cheap because you paid my fellow a pretty handsome amount and he is also very yeah. happy so he is like nahi nahi kya hai sir ye na actually european film hai ye aapke client ne bhi copy ki hai mere client ne bhi copy ki hai lekin ye defense i can't present in court because if i present this defense ki aapke client bhi sure hai main bhi sure hu then that big production company will come catch my neck so that's why the settlement is a good thing so things like this happen That's so funny, though. No, that's great. That's a great story. 